much. So we uh, talked before, I believe you were looking for a uh, real estate call caller, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But at that time you weren't very ready. And I'm happy that when we sent you a message again, that you are kind of looking for um, a call caller. So can you tell me a little bit about your business and what you do so that I could, you know, I, I'd know how to help you better? Well, <clears throat> I haven't necessarily started this business. Um, this has just been something that I've, you know, dipped my finger in and studied for a few years, um, but haven't necessarily pulled the trigger on it. Yeah, I run another business. I do commercial cleaning and janitorial work. Um, okay. And so that company, you know, is running it itself. But I'm at the point to where I'm wanting to start another business. Um, and I've always wanted to get started into the real estate world. Um, you know, starting off, you know, wholesaling, working my way mm -hmm. up to investing, you know, flipping houses and stuff. Um, so it's not like I'd be coming in, you know, brand new, not really knowing anything. But at the same time, it's not like I, you know, went and closed a bunch of deals. Okay, got it. Do you, um, you said that you don't have any experience in, in real estate, correct? This is correct. going to be your first time if ever. Okay, got it. Um, well, yeah, I've, we can. In the past, I've cold called in and stuff myself, you know, and I've, I have, um, I think, what do I use for um, prop stream is the is a source I use to pull all of my lists and all that kind of stuff. Um, mm -hmm. And so I've dabbled in that and I've run comps on homes. I just haven't, you know, necessarily done any deals at all. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, I, I believe our team can help you out. Um, first off, since you already have prop stream, I think you can get started with that. Uh, the only problem that we I mean, not really problem. The only next task that we are going to do is for you to get phone numbers for, for your leads. How do you usually skip trace it? Um, I know um, the guy that I follow and I've learned from. Um, he's really big. I think he actually is, is the creator of Prop Stream, if I'm not mistaken. But he, he uh, always <clears throat> tells us to use REI skip or to skip trace all the, the leads that we get. REI reply. I'm not opposed. It's REI skip, and I'm not opposed to trying a different one, but um, that's just the one that he says to you. Oh, okay, got it. So let me just take a look at that because I haven't. It's first. It's my first time hearing about it. So REI REI skip. Uh, skip. Oh, okay, got it. So mm -hmm. can this skip trace in bulk, or do you have to do it one by one? No, it's it it can do it in bulk. All right. Perfect. All right. Well, in that case, because uh, I do have some skip tracers, uh, skip, skip tracers as well. But the good thing about my team, we're pretty flexible. So if ever, as, as, as long as you can teach, I mean, I, I know how to pull data from PropStream, right? And mm -hmm. yeah. I did some skip tracing in the past as well, but I use a different tool. It's called Delft Point. And I used another tool in Telius. But I believe they're quite the same. The difference with the others, it's more of um, uh, because we don't want to have a hit and miss with the client I worked with in the past. So he he wanted me to like really investigate individually mm -hmm. for highly targeted leads, yeah. right? But uh, since we're not doing that, we're doing cold calling and we want to skip trace it, um, I can help you with getting, getting things started. So... Um, I can assign someone that could cold call for you and at the same time would um, pull up the list and would also skip trace for you since the system is not too, you know, not too hard to, I looked at it, I think it's not too hard to learn. Um, and it's buck skip tracing, which is great. So, yeah. um, so what are you looking for really? Are you looking for just a pre-qualifier or a cold caller and then you're gonna close the deal? <laughs> you're going to be the acquisition manager? Yeah, well, um, yeah, so during the cold calling session, uh, I'm sorry, let me grab this just really quick. I don't know if this is a sure, important call. Sure, no problem. Hello? Oh, they hung up, so, okay. Um, so, yeah, just so during the cold calling process, I would like um, just to kind of vet the, 
I guess the sellers at that point kind of gather as much information as you can, qualify them if you think they have any interest in selling, kind of, you know, to gather any information. But um, back to the first part of that question is, yeah, I guess what I saw and envisioned was, you know, we we get some lists, we get them skip trace, do the cold calling, and then go on from there. But um, being that you guys actually do this work for other companies and and have more experience, I don't know if there's other processes that I'm aware, unaware of that might be better implemented. Um. I believe that's actually the, the proven process. I mean, the other process that we did, it's quite unique because the client is using a uh, different tool. So he had this uh, software that he had built for himself that would enable him mm -hmm. to target leads that are not a lot of people are calling, right? So for example, yeah. a lot of people are going to pull up absentee owners or probate or uh, foreclosure. But he wants to be different. So what he's going to do is he's going to um, have the filter. Like, I want you to look for absentee owners, but the owners are dead or they have tax liens. So filters after filters. Yeah. I'm not going to get a lot of leads, but I'm going to get very, very few highly targeted leads. And then once I get that, yeah. say I have like 50, 60 people to call. Of course, I'm not going to be able to get a hold of the owner because it's gone. So he wanted me to investigate who would most likely be the next of kin and who's going to be handling. So he wanted me to look for like who's a wife, who's a, who's a child. I was looking at obituary yeah. and stuff like that. Really investigate. So that was the the, the um, it was tedious, but once you hit once you, it's 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 really a great uh, process. That that's the other you know because you're asking about process. That's the only other process that I've known about aside from that is texting. So he would also have me text. You know, so it wasn't cold okay, calling yeah. per se. So it was more on trying to find someone. You know, because um, because the relatives they wouldn't be happy that you cold call them and they would be surprised you know so that's a different approach that we mm -hmm. had another one is of course you, i'm pretty sure that you've heard about uh, investors sending letters to yeah. homeowners and then we're going to mm -hmm. wait up for that and see who's going to come back and you know leave voicemails and stuff and we will cold call them um but but the most common one that we're using a lot of clients have been successful as well is you know um what you what you are about to do which is to get the leads and then skip trace it and then pre-qualify it just making sure that the part of the process just to really ensure that your cold calling is call caller has a recording so we can teach them and make sure that they're not just sending you appointments for the sake of it so it has to yeah, be yeah. it has to be really qualified in a way that it can be um a newly re renovated home it can be an expensive mm -hmm. home so all of the tick boxes has to be you know checked um because i've i've uh, one of the things that make it makes it um, not successful is whenever the cold caller is getting pressured because it doesn't have a lot of numbers so he would just send anything right so we gotta yeah. prioritize the quality over quantity and then um aside from phone call cold calling we're matching it with texting um because not a mm -hmm. lot of people are answering anymore on phone calls so we're yeah. texting them too so that's um not sure that's something that you can consider later on but texting has been really effective and there are a lot of platforms um that you can use for that for sure do you so i guess i have two questions for cold calling do you guys just do individual calls or do you do something like call tools to where it's putting out a bunch of calls all at the same time. Absolutely. We use Mojo, some use call tools, um, but it's really in the preference of the uh, uh, of the client. But one thing's for sure, we won't be successful doing it manually. You know, when you're okay. copy pasting yeah. the number and putting it somewhere. So yeah, some clients yeah. would yeah. buy call tools and then others would buy um, Mojo, you know, and just call <clears throat> Which one do you, What do you think um, out of all the ones that you've, you've been through, which one's most successful or easiest to use or just which one is, would you put at the top of the list for whatever reason? Um, I'd use Mojo because 
you know, that's what I've been using since I get, it's, it's quite pricey, but the, the, what, what I love about it is it can be integrated to all, a lot of other CRMs that, that are useful um, for real estate. So it can be integrated, yeah. I think it can be integrated to um, Podio and Follow Up Boss, mm -hmm. um, which is really helpful for you. Uh, it can also be integrated to Zapier. So, so that's just really helpful for me because um, then it makes me more organized. With the other dialers, they're great. They have two lines, three lines. We use this one dialer has so many lines for real estate because Nikaya said mm -hmm. it's uh, you have a lot of numbers, we got to call them. So it has a lot of features. It's called ready mode. Yeah. It has a setting for you to create uh, your line. So he made it like 12, 12 lines. So we're calling about mm -hmm. 18, 18 profiles in like a minute or something. It was a disaster. Oh, wow. So they can yeah. get through all the numbers That's quickly but it's too much but for mojo i think it's great what's great about it is you can skip trace also within the crm so you upload your mm -hmm. list as long as the format is right you can click the button and it's going to skip trace it for i think 20 40 40 dollars so if you're oh, if okay. you don't want to if you don't want to buy another tool to skip trace it you can try it you know other investors are starting with that because it's much more affordable and it's within one system and they do have different settings on folders and um what do you call that folders and uh tasks management which makes it easier for the caller to get reminded of a callback if they have to call back someone so for me, Mojo is, is uh, one of the best tools I've used, um, both for realtors and real estate investors. Okay, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, and um, let's see. But by the way, which target market are you looking at? So is, are you meaning like what area the am I going to be looking yeah. at? As of now, I'm located <clears throat> in... Um, like Lincoln and Omaha area in Nebraska. Mm -hmm. And so it's Lincoln and Omaha are developing really fast. And then so are all the little towns around. Um, so I think it's a, I think it's a semi-decent area. I do eventually, if, if we start working together and everything goes well, I would eventually like to start building the business to be able to do virtual um, wholesaling meaning, you know, trying to find deals in different states or different areas. Um, I know the process is a little bit more difficult in terms of paperwork and trying to see, view the, view the property and all, but it's doable when people do it. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah so I, for, for actually, now. Actually, I have uh, some clients that are, uh, they are in a different state, but they're able to also buy properties in other states. And it's just, you know, it's, it's a bit hard work in the beginning. I, I do, I, I worked with a client um, I haven't shared the video on my YouTube channel, but we had a conversation of how successful he was using our co-caller. So he has a co-caller from us, two co-callers and one acquisition manager. So he does the acquisition and he trained an acquisition manager for my team too. And he was able to close about 10 or 15 deals already since he started with us. So that's, uh, he's going oh, wow. one year. Yes, he's been with us for a year and he's targeting about a million dollars earning for this for this year, which is, which is very achievable. So uh, yeah. with the right candidate and with the right support, because uh, we we have we have the skills we have the knowledge we can do it yes but we also need some assistance from from you uh, as a client mm -hmm. uh, in regard to resources because we can't really make it sure. happen for example because typically for a new uh, it's, I'm I'm happy that you're very open and you're looking at what other options you can you know what what we usually do what what's the usual process what kind of tools can we suggest because typically for uh, some some inv uh, investors that are new would like tell us these are my leads i have a thousand you know close help me close a deal in a month or two and then you do the cold calling yeah. you do <laughs> you do the cold calling and then you do the closing too i'm not gonna do anything so it doesn't work mm -hmm. that way we just you know uh we just um want to be like realistic right so for sure yeah so if ever we're gonna do this um we should assign someone to like work day in, day out to pre-qualify cold call leads. 
and then mm -hmm. either another person to acquisition it or you would do it. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so yeah, um, that we can help good you to me. Um, in setting up everything mm -hmm. with the leads and stuff. So that's not a problem for us. Um, I can even help you in setting up Mojo because I am like, you know, 100% familiar with it. I've, I can, uh, I do teach people too to use it. So I'm pretty comfortable. Okay. I can help you um, teach your person extract leads from prop stream and upload it to Mojo and skip trace it within Mojo if you wouldn't be using the REI skip. Um, and one thing you would need also if you were gonna use Mojo is a separate tool for calls because your caller would want to you would want to have your caller to have a local number um showing up you know a local number uh from nebraska if that's what we're going to be calling um yeah. so a local number and unlimited u.s calls if you know you can use any type of voice over ip um like skype skype call or ring central uma or whatever works for you Okay, for sure. Um, yeah, so I can start putting all this stuff together. Typically, what's a good what's a good number for you guys in terms of how many leads per week that you guys typically like to handle or that you find has a pretty good um, ratio in terms of like getting qualified leads? Whether that be how like many 5, leads? leads? Yeah, five thousand yeah, leads would be a great, a great, um, a great number to start with. You know, five thousand. As long as it's because it's if we, if we use Mojo, it would be you could use one line or multiple line. So a thousand, one thousand or two thousand leads would only last us like a week. You know, and next week we would probably yeah. call it again. But then again, after two to three times of calling the same list, people are gonna recognize our number. So you mm -hmm. can either use another dummy number or you can just, you know, give the person a fresh list. So 5,000 sure. is a great number to start with. Okay, so 5,000 leads, we've got prop stream. I think you can, um, we'll use, you can get 10,000 from prop stream. Right? Yeah, uh, I can I can get as many leads from PropStream. It's just about getting them skip trace because that's where you pay. Right. I can right. get free lead. I just have to pay for the skip tracing. So exactly, because uh, uh, the lead wouldn't mean anything if we don't have the number. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I think I want to get. So I'll get Mojo. Does Mojo offer texting services, or do, is that a separate separate? Is that, app that would be texting? that would be set that would be separate. Um, you can either use a different, uh, I use, what do you call that? Um, launch control. I want to look at that. Launch, uh, control. launch control. And then they are using Twilio um, for texting too. Uh, that's another um, tool that have been suggested to me. Um, and others are using follow-up boss because the follow-up boss would then allow them to have the CRM because Mojo's the dialer. They're going to have another CRM and the CRM would allow them to, you know, change status and also text. So, yeah. But um, the good thing about the, this is a Twilio website. I sent, I sent it over to you. But the good thing about having a separate dedicated um platform for texting. I think Twilio has their own like emailing and messaging within it. Um, but the good thing about DovePoint, I've used that in the past, is that they have, I'm oh, sorry, the uh, launch control is they have campaigns to like you upload your leads there and then they're going to text it and the system's going to send different formats. So because the pr different providers would recognize you like a, a telemarketer or something so it has yeah. a feature to to pass through that basically so that's a good thing okay. about having a certain um platform dedicated for real estate texting as opposed to using a crm mm -hmm. for texting because then it's going to be manual right so what we did yeah. was it what we would upload the leads and then we would text them and then as soon as someone replies you can like have taggings and then 
you can do it has a like a follow up for like it has different drips or something so so it's a good tool um yeah okay okay and then um so i guess we're good there i can start working on all that what about in terms of pricing where are you guys price at Oh, it really depends because because we, we we have different plans so we have bronze plans we have silver sil silver plan and we have gold plans so the bronze plan uh is the lowest that we have of course uh this is where you can find uh real estate call callers um with great english um with experience or it's either the bronze plan either with experience or i've trained them myself because i do train people for real estate um, I've qualified them in a way that when we do the role play, I feel confident that they can do the task. So the, it, that's ranging from $5 mm -hmm. to $6 per hour. For sil silver plan, okay. this is where we can find more experienced school caller. They have not just been trained. They have dialed for either realtors or real estate investors or wholesalers and will typically charge about um, anything from $6.50 to to 850 per hour. Um, they are familiar with different tools. They are familiar with scripts and you know they know what they're going to do. You, they are familiar with real estate cold calling and some of them are skip tracers too. Uh, they know a, a bunch of tools as well in CRMs. Uh, goal plan is where you can find the most senior ones from our team. So these are like autopilots. So you put them there, they would even help you set up everything if they can. So, and they have really great English and uh, they don't need a lot of supervision. They are, uh, they have um, um, what I call this initiative and in other things, even if you don't tell them. So, so the goal plan are the ones with years of experience and have uh, a really skilled in regard to real estate. And uh, yeah, they are charging uh, anything um, more than eight fifty, so that's averaging from nine to sometimes up to fourteen dollars an hour, depending on the skill level and experience of the candidate. Okay, mm -hmm. for sure, <clears throat> it doesn't. That's not bad at all. Um, okay. Perfect. So I guess the, the next thing for me to do is just go ahead and start. Um, I need to go into all these different, you know, the mojos, you know, everything we discussed, kind of get some pricing and budgeting together. Um, mm -hmm. Once I do that, I'll probably email you and we can talk about uh, contracts and a start date and all that kind of good stuff. Awesome. Just real quick. Are you looking at 20 hours for a full time candidate? Um, hmm. I guess it's just going to depend on the price, mm -hmm. whether I'll do 20 hours of full time. Um, yeah, I don't know right now at the top of my head. It's going to probably mostly just depend on price. Because if I go with someone gold, <clears throat> you know, if I go with the gold package, probably would be closer to 20 in hopes of those 20 hours are going to be more efficient than, you know, someone newer and them doing 40 hours or I'll do vice versa. And just kind of, I guess I would see which is going to be better for me. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. All right. So I guess we'll just reconnect um, when you're, when you have the chance to look at the um, uh, softwares. And then once you're ready, I'll uh, send a list of candidates that I think would be a good fit. And then we could set up a meeting. And yeah, we're hoping that we could have an opportunity to be part of your growing team. Oh, yeah, for sure. I've, I've been wanting to work with you guys for a while. So awesome. I'm excited okay. about it. It's great to reconnect, Rudy. Thank you so much for your time today, OK? Yeah, thank you.